guys welcome back to the channel in today's video we're going to talk about gold and silver we're going to go over an article that's going to be linked in the description below if you want to go ahead and take a look at it and uh, we'll just kind of read through here and uh, provide some insight on uh, this guy's opinion on silver it says we had an action pack week in the markets with a twist on friday that will have me working overtime this weekend to figure out i can quickly grasp the s p 500 pushing to a new record high while i cannot wrap my head around the 10-year yields falling to a three-month low in addition the dollar index surged sending gold back to 1900 dollars an ounce leaving me to believe that the fed is there flexing their monetary muscles finally the platinum rally has stalled and on the news of the chip shortage and halted auto production leaving us temporarily with increased supply and decreased demand structure the only metal that appears to have it right is silver, and prices rose 57% since last June when commodities and inflation had bottomed, and the technicals look to set up for another potential breakout. To further help you understand the quantitative analysis of the precious metal market, we offer a free gold trend macro book, which has been updated with silver side. You can request yours here. So I'm going to link this article in the description below, and this is the first paragraph you can click on that and request that i'm going to do it as well uh, but i just want to show you where that's at over the past 13 years contributing to kitco i've spoken to many of you and you have indicated that you are physical stackers i respect that i spent much of my 20s amassing a small central bank's worth of bullion that eventually became so large i currently have to rent a vault space at a financial institution to house it Will I ever sell it? Probably not. It's too much of a pain to move. Plus, I would need to find a trustworthy buyer. I have to deal with the spread of the physical and try to time it with the rapid price fluctuations. Heck, with my luck, the Reddit crowd will target silver this Monday at 32 an ounce. We'll see a, soar, a surge to $40 an ounce by Tuesday. Wednesday, I'll have to pick up my truck load. I finally loaded. Then, looking to offload it somewhere. We'll be trading back at 2850 when the paper comes in and sells the daylights out of it so i guess i'll be a long-term collector of physical and let my future kids deal with it when i pass it on another 50 years just like a boat a car a house etc so and he goes on and, and shows a little bit of uh, the chart and you can see it's kind of a, it's showing a, a bull pennant for silver and he's thinking that we're going to have some type of big breakout coming soon it goes on to say the March silver strategy. Now, let's say I want to take another approach utilizing the futures and commodities market. Silver happens to be one of the most liquid markets. Trading nearly 23 hours a day and bids offer, offers closely resemble the spot market. With the firm belief that silver will continue to trend higher over the next nine months, we are recommended to our clients with as little as 5 to 10K in risk capital to position themselves in a calculated risk call spread with one to three risk to reward scenario. We're constructing the spread by purchasing the March 22nd silver $29 call while simultaneously selling the March 22nd silver $31 call. Since silver futures are 5,000 ounce contracts, every one cent move represents 50 bucks, I guess up or down. So if it goes up a cent, you get $50. Uh, every dollar move represents 5,000 cents. The spread is $2 wide, the maximum value would be $10,000. And the current cost of the spread is $0.50 cents for $2,500 plus any commission and fees that also represent your maximum risk. The maximum gain would occur when the price of March silver futures closing above 31 an ounce at expiration on February 23rd, 2022. Maximum gain is $10,000 minus $2,500 for your costs, minus commissions and fees leaving you around $7,425 give or take at your brokerage. The spread anytime uh, the futures are trading can be liquidated before expiration. How, however, it may not capture the entire max profit due to the time remaining. If you would like to learn more about the strategies we're implementing or learn more about the technical analysis, we created a guide to provide you with all the steps to create an actionable plan used as a foundation for entering and exiting the market. You can request your five-step technical analysis guide here. So. It gives you a couple of different things you can sign up for to get some additional information. But you see here, uh, they're talking about uh, putting on a 
$29 call for March 2022 saying that it's going to get to $29 an ounce and also uh, $31 an ounce here and which it really is not going to take that much to get it there seeing that we're already almost there so spot price currently is under $28 an ounce and so let's go ahead and look at some of the websites and see what they're selling for online and check out the premiums compared to the spot price okay guys we're on money metals exchange right now and you see you can get one ounce for about 34.82 that's roughly about let me see here six dollars and 79 uh cents you can get it as low as that over spot so uh, for one ounce it'll be about 6.90 over spot and then the more you buy the bigger the discount uh, that you're going to get actually it's a little bit it's more than that so one one to 50 or one to 49 ounces is 779 uh, 50 to 499 is 729 then 500 to 2500 is going to be 679 so the premiums are still kind of up there and we go over here and look at jm bouillon and they have uh 35 dollars an ounce here 38 dollars an ounce here uh, so i mean that's pretty that's pretty steep that's almost about ten dollars over spot so uh silver is something to watch guys and also the us dollar uh we want to keep an eye on that as well uh us dollar currently we had a little uh, uptick here in uh, the value of the dollar if we look at the last uh, five days we traded sideways had a decent little push up look over the last month been pretty choppy last three months still in the downtrend last six months i see the peak of about 93.30 and we're down all the way to 90.51 um, we'll look at the one year and about a year ago we were at 96 almost 97 so we've lost a decent amount of value from uh, from the dollar in the past year and even the past you know, the past three years we've lost a decent amount and the more uh, the more money printing that goes on guys this is just going to devalue uh our dollar index so anyway guys keep an eye on silver keep an eye on gold especially if you hold it currently uh, for a breakout in the price people are starting to talk more and more about it not sure when it's going to come or if it's going to come soon but it'll definitely be on my watch list all right guys that's all i have for you in this video make sure that you smash the thumbs up button if you found value in today's video and if you enjoy our content of course subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell that way youtube can let you know every time we release new content other than that guys we'll catch you in the next video